this is our fifth video tutorial and today we are going to discuss about the two strings are permutable of each other or not or we can say that two strings are anagram or not so let's start here so two strings are said to be anagram or permutable if the letters from one string can be re rearranged in such a way that we can form the another string so let's start coding here to check whether the two strings are anagram or permutable or not first we have to check the length of the string if both the length of both the strings are not equal then we can say that the string cannot be permutable because we cannot form uh, five five character string with just a four character string so we have to check the length of the string so what we have to do is we have to take our first string and we have to find out its length and let me compare its length with the length of the another one if the length of if both the length are not equal then we have to return false here we just have to stop our code here because it, it is not possible if the length if the length of the strings are not equal and what about if the length of the strings are equal then we are going to use the arrays class method the arrays class method provide the dot equals method it, it works on the carrier so we will pass the two carrier into the arrays equals method and if the uh, both the care array are equal it means they are containing the same character set then it will return true or there is it will return false so to use the arrays class equals method we have to convert our string into the care array so we have so we will create two care array named with a and b and we will store our str1 Carrier and carrier B will hold up the string to and after that we can directly use the arrays class string method arrays class dot equals method which will take two inputs as in carrier A and B and it will return true if both have the same set of characters but the problem with that uh, arrays equals method is they're comparing each character one by one in a linear fashion like the character from the first carrier will be compared with the character from the second carrier like what happened here is it will compare It will compare someone something like this the character from the first one a will be compared with e and b will compare with d so what will happen here is even if the our string contains the same set of characters in different sequence but what we'll get here we'll get false if we run the code we'll get false here let me show you yeah, we we get false here. So to use the to use the arrays equals method, first we have to sort our string. Our both the strings has to be sorted to get our desired result. So I have to sort our strings, our care array, and again we'll going to use the same arrays arrays method that is equal to arrays dot short and we have to pass our carrier a1 so what happened it, it will short our both the character set so after the sorting what our cares carrier one will be and our carrier two will be now the comparison makes sense for the arrays equals method it will compare this to this to like this so 
remember one thing that before using the dot equals method of the arrays class you have to sort your characters you have to sort your care array so that you can compare both the characters here so that's it guys let me just run quickly run the code again so this time we get the true because the, both the character array is to be shorted after that shorting using the short method of the array set so thank you guys thank you for watching this video